this is my review of the the light in 15 ultra scooter uh, which comes in at a, a hefty price of 1800 pounds you find a similar review on youtube uh, by the uh, managing director of care co who sold us a scooter uh, the scooter is basically five months old even though because of lockdown it's uh, only been used for probably well, two to three months of this and already it's in a a really bad condition. I have contacted care who have been really really difficult about uh, the whole situation so I'll just run you through my review. First of all aesthetically if you notice this uh, the paintwork <laughs> it's chipped and scuffed. This is the everyday use um, the fact of removing the battery has caused the paintwork to scuff and also if you notice you've got the Careco key fob the action of that rubbing back and forth that has caused the scooter to scuff as well so aesthetically the scooter is really not fit for purpose right secondly you'll notice <coughs> That if I look at the scooter straight on, even though it's in straight alignment, uh, the handlebars are slightly to the left. This is because the undercarriage has, in a short bit of time, damaged itself somehow. And so basically, if you push, if you try to drive this in a straight line, it will go in circles. Right, okay. On to some of the other features of this machine. Well, if I start off, well, that's a scuff mark as well. Uh, but just taking the basket off and that scuff mark there is purely just by undoing the uh, tiller drop mechanism right some of the, the features for start off you notice this just by two it squeaks and rattles rattles as it goes along and also you see these uh, little knobs there they will self loosen at will including the main one which holds the seat together with the, um, uh, the special pin which holds the seat at the correct height now what happens is when this one loosens Just a tiny amount. You see, all of a sudden, the seat drops back and forth, making a very, very uncomfortable ride indeed. Um, also, to so note this, uh, you, you really need to hold on uh, to the handlebars tight because the slightest little stone you go over it does actually snatch you very seriously and could damage your wrists um right back to these pins now, these pins like i say they loosen and they actually will fall out you've got the retaining pin there which actually holds the seat in position now the a special unique feature of this machine is basically as you're driving along the back retaining screw loosens and the retaining pin actually will fall out causing the seat to drop jarring your back it's not very good at all and that's my first review of the light technique 15 i'll be giving you a road test review uh, shortly